In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to tie the Serpent's Eye Paracord Bracelet done in the Mad Max Closure and also done as an Immortan Joe themed paracord bracelet. What's going on guys, Tim here again. So, got another tutorial for you today. Mad Max again, one of your favorite closures out there. And uh, this is the Serpent's Eye, that's the official t uh, title for it, authored by Dirk Benedict uh, Beharry, I hope I said that name right, my last name. Um, so yeah, it's the uh, Cobra Knots with this two double twin uh, snake knot sec section in the middle. And um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. We did this Mad Max closure and I thought, yeah, it does look like an eye, but to me, this is almost like the, um, the mask of Morton Joe. And I thought that would be really fitting to do this with the Mad Max closure and also in the tan and, uh, sorry, the gold and white colors. So uh, yeah, this one we're doing in Morton Joe themed. It is the Serpent's Eye Paracord Bracelet. All right. So guys, remember if you like what I do here and you want to uh, support the channel, you can get access to exclusive tutorials and uh, giveaways every month through my Patreon campaign. And of course, huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. You guys are doing wonders for this channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, so that being said, um, don't forget Lastly, all materials you can find on my Amazon Influencer Store, link down, link down below. That being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of paracord ready. So my gold is going to be the main uh, weaving strand of the color of the outside of the bracelet, and the white will be the core. So you're going to take your gold strand, and you're going to make a loop, like so. Just cross it over. This is the midpoint, by the way, and again, this is the midpoint as well. Now you're going to do a cow's hitch over top with the white through this gold loop. So bring that loop through like so. And then put both strands through the middle like that. And then close it up. So because we're doing this Mad Max style, you can close this loop all the way. If you want to do this knot in loop, you can just leave that one inch loop. So close that loop and firm it up and make sure um, these two strands are equal and these two strands are equal. So now from here, we're going to start tying our Cobra knots. So start with the right strand, cross it over the core, left on top of that, and out through the other end. Okay, so that's one knot. Let's tie a few more. So this time, left strand over the core, right on top. And bring it through to the other side. Always make sure you're crossing with that same lead strand. Okay, so again, now it's on the right. So, super simple. A lot of us have done the Solomon knots before. So continue tying your Solomon knots uh, about halfway down the bracelet, okay? So um, that'll depend on the length of your bracelet and your wrist size. So just tie, uh, you may have to experiment with this a bit, so just tie as many as you need, about, just about midway. Okay, so I tied that first section of my bracelet, first half. Now we're going to work on the white cords. You're gonna take the strand on the left, bring it around, and make a loop. We're gonna tie a single snake knot. Then bring that strand on the right underneath, and then put it through this gap here, and then pull that through. Okay, and then firm that single snake knot up all the way to the top, like so. And then from here, now we're going to tie. Uh, snake knots on either side. Okay, so the way we're going to do that again is the same. We're going to take on this side, we're going to take the gold cord and wrap it around like so, and then bring the white behind that cord there, and then put it through that loop. Okay. And cinch that up. And 
Now on the right side, we're going to do the kind of mirror image of that. So instead of using the outside, I'm sorry, we're gonna still have to use the outside cord. So this time we're gonna take the gold cord, same gold cord on this side, make a loop like so, bring the white around and put it through the middle, that little gap there and then close it up. This is going to keep the gold strands on the inside matching here and here, because if we did it the other way, we'd have white on the uh, inside, okay? So, now that we've done that, just tie three more snake knots on each side, following the same pattern, or the same method. Okay, be consistent to keep the colors the same. You don't have to alternate like I am, you could just tie all of them on one side first, and then tie all of them on the other side. Okay, see that? So tie four snakes on, snake knots. And remember on this side, we go on the outside. Like so. Okay, so just tie those four snake knots and then we will uh, move on. So I got my four snake knots tied. Now we're gonna go back to the white cords. And again, you're just gonna tie another snake knot using the white. This is gonna close up that serpent's eye, or in this case, the Morton Joe case, the teeth. Okay. So cinch that all the way up to the top. Now you don't have to tie the exact same amount as I did. You can tie more if you want. And then now we're going to go back to the gold and then you're going to again close it off with the cobra knots. Back to the cobra knots. Okay. So cinch that up. Like so. And just continue tying the same amount of cobra knots you had as your opposite side. So same amount up here down here, okay? Okay, so I finished tying my second section of the Cobra Knots. Now, you can guess what we're gonna do to make the Mad Max closure. I've got FIDS on my white here, and we're just going to pass it through the top, right? That's the first knot we made. I'm gonna push it through that loop. Another, uh, again, a tip, if this is too loose, Mine is a little loose here. You can always just dip this end in boiling water just for like a few seconds and it'll tighten everything up. Okay, so white is passed through. We're gonna get our fids off. And of course, now all we have to do is tie our diamond knot. So let's do that now really quick. Okay, so I got my diamond knot tied. Just have to adjust it so it's just the right amount of space to get my wrist in. Um, and then I'm just going to snip and singe the end of the white here and then snip and singe that excess gold. Okay, there we have it. We are done. Snipped and singed off the paracord. I left the tails there just for decoration. And uh, this one turned out really nice. Love the color theme. And uh, very fitting, I think, for the Mad Max and Morton Joe. But of course, again, this one is the Serpent's Eye. That's the official title. But wanted to do this uh, Morton Joe themed 
Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this content and you're not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when I release videos. And uh, yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.